welcome back to our today's class. Good evening. I hope you guys are in a good health. Okay, selamat datang kepada kelas hari ini. Saya harap awak semua berada dalam keadaan sihat sejahtera. Okay, so as for today, what are we going to look for today's topic? So for your information, as for today's class, I am going to focus on reading and listening for you guys. So you have to pay attention for the listening part. Okay, so untuk hari ini saya akan fokus kepada kelas membaca dan juga mendengar. Jadi awak kena bagi perhatian sepenuhnya bagi bahagian yang mendengar tu, okay? Because you have to pay attention, fully attention for the listening part because I will ask you guys a question and you have to answer based on the question that I ask you guys, okay? I will provide the answer but I will not provide the question. Saya akan bagi awak jawapan tapi saya tak akan bagi awak soalan tu. Saya tak akan tulis soalan tu. Jadi awak kena dengar soalan tu daripada pertanyaan yang saya bagi, okay? So don't worry, at first we are going to look at the story reading first. So come, let's have a look for the story reading. Before we go to the story reading, I want you guys to watch this video, okay? Sebelum kita pergi kepada pembacaan jalan cerita, saya nak awak ting uh, tonton video ini terlebih dahulu. So come, let's watch it together. Okay guys, so that is the video that I want you guys to watch. It's about today's story, okay? So, itu ialah video berkaitan dengan penceritaan kita untuk hari ini. So, come let's read the story together. Let's go. Okay, so the title is about Santa's Little Helper. Okay, come let's read it together. It's Christmas Eve. Santa and Rudolph are getting ready for Christmas. Santa puts on his red jacket and his red hat. Ho, ho, ho. There are lots of presents in Santa's sleigh for children around the world. Now they're off. Santa leaves a present for good boys and girls. He eats one mince pie. Then two, three, four. Hmm, yum, yum. Amy is asleep at home. Santa climbs down the chimney with Amy's present. But, oh dear, 
He is too fat. He can't move. Help, Rudolph. Thank you, Amy. Can you help me take the presents? Yes, Santa. Let's go. Amy and Santa fly into the air. They go all around the world with the Christmas presents. Amy goes down the chimney and puts the presents under the tree. Catch, Amy. Okay, Santa. The slate flies back to the North Pole for more presents. Santa's toy factory is very busy. There are robots, dolls, balls, and teddies. Amy is at the North Pole. It is snowing. Amy and Rudolph throw snowballs. They have lots of fun. Thank you, Amy. Here's a special present for you. Thanks, Santa. See you again next year. Thank you, Amy, from Santa. So, that is the story about Santa's little helper. So, the meaning is about, okay, cerita itu berkaitan dengan, tajuk dia ialah Santa Little Helper. Hel- helper. Maksudnya, pembantu Santa, okay. So, ianya pada hari Christmas, okay. Santa dan Rudolph, okay. Rudolph tu ialah rusa yang membawa kereta Santa tu, okay. So, Santa and Rudolph, uh, mereka bersedia untuk Christmas. Jadi, Santa pakai Uh, jaket warna merah dan juga topi yang berwarna merah okey yang awak boleh lihat dalam gambar tu so there are lots of present okey terdapat banyak hadiah dekat dalam uh, kereta luncur santa okey selai tu ialah kereta luncur jadi kereta luncur santa tu penuh dengan hadiah untuk kanak-kanak di seluruh dunia okey so mereka pun bertolak okey santa tinggalkan hadiah untuk uh, kanak-kanak Uh, kanak-kanak lelaki dan perempuan yang baik okay. Dia makan satu pie okay. Dia makan satu pie Lepas tu dua, tiga dan empat hmm, Dia cakap sedap, yum-yum Lepas tu Amy sedang tidur dekat rumah okay. Santa panj- uh, panjat turun dekat terowong Cimni tu ialah terowong kecil dekat rumah Amy Untuk uh, dengan hadiah Amy tu Tetapi dia dah terlalu gemuk. Dia tak boleh bergerak. Dia sangkut dekat dalam terowong tu. Okay, lepas tu Amy tolong tarik dia keluar. Lepas tu dia ucapkan, Terima kasih Amy. So, boleh tak awak tolong saya dengan hadiah-hadiah tersebut? Jadi Amy kata, Ya, yeah, boleh Santa. Dia kata, Jom, let's go. Let's go tu, marilah kita pergi. Jadi Amy dan juga Santa terbang dekat udara. Jadi mereka pergi seluruh dunia dengan hadiah-hadiah Christmas tersebut. Jadi, Amy yang turun dekat terowong tu dan letak hadiah-hadiah tersebut dekat bawah pokok. Pokok Christmas tu lah. Okay. So, Santa kata dekat Amy, catch Amy. Maksudnya, tangkap lah Amy. Lepas tu, Amy kata, okay Santa. So, kereta luncur tu pun uh, terbang balik ke North Pole. Okay. Uh, kutub utara. Okay. Untuk lebih hadiah yang banyak. Dekat Santa punya kilang. Dekat Santa uh, kilang permainan Santa terlalu busy. Okay. Terdapat dekat kilang tu ada robot, ada patung, ada bola dan juga ada teddy bear. Okay. Amy dekat kutub utara. Okay. Dekat situ ialah salji. Dekat situ sedang salji. Jadi Amy dan juga Rudolph membaling uh, membaling bola salji antara satu sama lain. Mereka sangat gembira. Jadi Santa mengucapkan terima kasih kepada Amy. Jadi Santa bagi special hadiah dekat Amy. Jadi Amy kata, terima kasih Santa, jumpa awak lagi tahun hadapan. Terima kasih Amy daripada Santa, okay. So, itulah maksud cerita dekat, uh, cerita Santa's Little Helper. So, that is the meaning of the Santa's Little Helper. So, as we already read through the story and we already watched the video just now, now is for the exercise time, okay. We are going to look through the exercise and how we are going to answer this. So, make sure you already understand the story, you already memorize the story flow so that it can help you to do the exercise, okay? So, that awak kena pastikan awak dah faham jalan cerita ni, awak dah boleh ingat jalan cerita ni macam mana dan dia boleh membantu awak untuk menjawab soalan-soalan yang akan diberikan. So, now let's have a look for the exercise. So, number one, what that you have to do? What's the word? Write the word under the picture. Okay, so as you can see, the word is provided, the words are provided in the box, okay. And you have to choose the word and write down to the correct 
foto. Awak kena pilih perkataan-perkataan yang betul dan tuliskan dekat gambar yang betul. So, jom kita buat sama-sama. Let's do it together. So, look at the first box. Okay, the first box. What is the picture about? Okay, kotak yang pertama tu. Apakah gambar gambar tersebut? So, gambar tu ialah doll. Okay, doll ialah patung. Okay, so for the second box, they already written it down the answer for you. It is Santa. So, for the third box, kotak yang ketiga. Apakah gambar kotak yang ketiga? Yang tu ialah pokok. So, pokok dalam bahasa Inggeris ialah tree. Very good. Okay, next one. What is that? Itu ialah terowong dekat rumah untuk kita turun. Jadi, terowong tu kita panggil apa tadi? I already told you guys. Terowong tu kita panggil chimney. Okay, terowong dekat rumah tu kita panggil chimney. Okay, don't forget. So, next one. Gambar apa tu? Gambar bumi. So, bumi dalam bahasa Inggeris kita panggil world. Okay, so the answer is world. Next one. It's very easy. The answer is ball. Okay, gambar bola. Next one. What is the picture about? Gambar patung beruang. So, the answer is teddy. Okay, next one. I am pretty sure half of you have it at your home. Awak mesti ada benda ni dekat rumah awak kan? So, apa tu? Jawapan dia, robot. The answer is robot. And next one. Yes, everyone love this. Semua orang suka gambar ni, okay? So, if you get this, you will love it. Ya, yeah, awak akan suka kalau awak dapat benda ni. So, what is it? Apa yang kita panggil ni dalam bahasa Inggeris? So, ini ialah hadiah. So, hadiah ialah present, okay? Next one, okay. Ini ialah kereta luncur yang Santa naik tu. So, kereta luncur dalam bahasa Inggeris. Just now, I already told you guys. What do we call it in English? We call it as sleigh. Okay, sleigh. Kereta luncur dalam bahasa Inggeris ialah sleigh. Okay, next one. Okay, as you can see, there is a picture about uh, a building. There is a smoke come out from there. Okay, what is the picture about? Okay, gambar tu berkaitan dengan apa? Apa tu? Gambar bangunan yang ada asap berkepul-kepul. So, what is the best answer that you can choose from the answer box? Okay, so the best answer will be factory. Factory maksudnya kilang. Okay. And the last one, of course, the answer will be means pie. Okay, gambar pie. So, that is the answer for all of the picture. Itu ialah jawapan untuk setiap gambar-gambar tersebut. Okay, that is the first exercise. Itu ialah exercise number satu. Okay, next one. Exercise number two. What's the order? Watch the story and put the sentences in order. Okay. Kita dah tengok story tadi, kita dah tengok jalan cerita tadi, kita dah baca jalan cerita dia. So, now what you have to do is you need to rearrange these sentences into the correct order. Awak kena susun uh, ayat-ayat ni mengikut susunan yang betul. So, number one. Santa and Rudolph are getting ready for Christmas. So, what is number two? Number two is... There are lots of present in Santa sleigh for children around the world. Okay, come. Let's get for number three. Who can guess it right? Come, let's get it. Which one is number three? Yang mana satu ialah number tiga. Okay, number three is he eats one mean pie. Then two, three, four. Okay, very good. Who guess it correct? You are very good. Okay, next one, number four. Which one is number four? Santa climbs down the chimney with Emmy's present. Okay. Yes, that one is number four. If you, you guess it correctly, very good. Number five. He is too fat. He can't move. Okay, that one is number five. Okay, number six. Which one is number six? Can you guess it? So, number six is Emmy and Santa go all around the world with the Christmas presents. Okay, very good. Number seven now. Which one? Santa Toy Factory is very busy or Amy and Rudolph throw snowballs? Which one is the correct answer? Santa's, fat, Santa's Toy Factory is very busy. So, that one is number seven. And of course, the last one, number eight. Amy and Rudolph throw snowballs. Okay, very good. If you can guess it uh, with the correct orders, you are very good. Okay. So, that is the correct order, okay? Start with uh, the correct order for the story just now that we already read, okay? We already read the story. So, this one, for this part, you need to rearrange the story into the correct order, okay? Awak kena susun 
jalan cerita ini mengikut susunan jalan cerita yang betul. Dia mengikut nombor yang betul. Okay. So, that is for the second exercise. Itu latihan yang kedua. So, next one. Next exercise will be fill it in. Watch the story. Write the missing words in the sentences. Okay, jadi kita dah tengok jalan cerita tadi dan dia kata uh, tuliskan perkataan yang perkataan di terruangan kosong yang disediakan. Okay, so as A, Santa puts on his red jacket and his red hat. Okay, B, Santa leave a present for good and girls. So what is the answer for B? If you can still remember. So, Santa leave a present for good boys and girls. Okay, very good. C. Can't you, me, take the present? So, what is the answer? Can't you help me take the present? Okay. D. Amy and fly into the air. Okay. Amy and who fly into the air? Amy and Santa fly into the air. Very good. Okay, next one. E. Amy goes down the and puts the presents under the tree. Jadi, Amy merangkak turun dekat mana? Dan letak hadiah itu di bawah pokok. So, Amy merangkak turun dekat. Amy goes down the chimney. Okay, terowong dekat rumah tu. Okay. F. The flies back to the North Pole for more presents. So, apa benda yang terbang balik ke kutub utara untuk mendapatkan lebih banyak hadiah? So, what is it? What is the answer? The answer is the sleigh. Okay, kereta luncur Santa tu yang terbang balik ke kutub utara untuk mendapatkan lebih banyak hadiah. Okay, G. There are dolls, balls and teddies. So, what is the best answer over here? There are robots, dolls, balls and teddies. Okay, and H. Thank you, Amy. Here's a special for you. So, what is the answer over here? Here's a special present for you. Okay, so that is the answer for number three. So, now let's have a look for the number four exercise. As for number four, write and draw. Okay, in the story, Santa give Amy a special present. What do you think it is? What's the best present you have ever had? Draw a picture and write about it. So, as you can see, I already put the picture of a teddy bear over here. See, the teddy bear is so cute. So, I wrote it down. The best present that I ever had was a teddy bear. The teddy bear is brown in color and it is so big. So, the best teddy bear that I ever had was a uh, the best present that I ever had was a teddy bear. So, the teddy bear color is brown and it is big. So, that is how you want to answer the question. So, we are done for the question answer for the exercise. We are already done number one until number four exercise. So, now we are finished with the story exercise. Okay, kita dah selesai dengan latihan-latihan yang berdasarkan jalan cerita tadi tu. Berdasarkan uh, kisah Video cerita yang kita tonton tadi dan yang kita dah baca tadi ikut. Okay, semuanya ada empat latihan. So, itulah cara-cara macam mana awak nak buat latihan berdasarkan soalan, uh, berdasarkan jalan cerita yang diberikan. So, next part will be listening part. Okay, sekarang kita akan masuk dekat bahagian mendengar. Okay, most important things over here is you have to pay full attention On the question that I ask you guys. Awak kena beri sepenuh perhatian dengan soalan yang saya akan tanya. Okay, remember, I won't write down the question. I will just write down the answer choices. You choose the best answer. Okay, saya tak akan tulis soalan dia. Saya hanya akan baca soalan tu dan awak pilih jawapan dia yang saya sediakan. Okay, make sure awak tulis dekat dalam kertas. Okay, dan tangkap gambar tu dan hantar dekat saya dalam Google Classroom. Okay, I hope all of you are ready. Ready with your pen, ready with your pencil and ready with your paper. Okay, bersedia dengan pencil dan juga kertas. Okay, so now let's go. Question 1. Listen carefully. 
when is the christmas day when is the christmas date when is the christmas date so choose the answer is it 25 november 25 april or 25 december okay that is question one now question two how many mince pie did santa eat how many mince pie did santa eat how many mince pie did santa eat choose the answer one four or three question three santa puts on his santa puts on his santa puts on his choose the answer red jacket red hat blue jacket green hat or red jacket orange hat question number four who helps santa who helps santa who help santa choose the answer rudolph amy or cat last question question number five amy and rudolph throw amy and rudolph throw amy and rudolph throw choose the answer present snowballs or teddy bear so that's all for our today's class okay for reading and also listening so for the listening part remember choose the best answer and write it down in your on your paper okay and then make sure you snap the picture and send it for me in your google classroom okay remember listen carefully for the uh, listening part listen carefully to the question that i ask you guys and choose the best answer okay Dengar betul-betul dekat soalan yang saya tanya dan pilih jawapan yang paling tepat dan tuliskan di atas kertas. And jangan lupa hantar gambar jawapan dekat dalam Google Classroom. So that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoy for today's class. I hope you guys enjoy the story. Don't forget to do the exercise that I provided to you guys. It's the same like this one. You just have to read the story and answer the question that provided. Awak cuma perlu baca soalan yang diberikan. Awak perlu baca jalan cerita yang diberikan dan jawab soalan-soalan yang ada. Okay. So, good luck. Thank you. See you guys again for our, uh, for our next class. Okay. Thank you guys. Bye.